Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and this is Satisfactory and we are going to jump right in to the Cybertron save today. I have uh, still been experiencing some crashes on stream with the Devastator save. Uh, it's sad, it's frustrating, and I'd rather just not go through that live. Uh, I think that we are at a decent spot right now in the Grassfields playthrough, the new one. Uh, we've been there a couple of times before, but it's an area that I know the best in terms of the lay of the land and so i'm able to progress quite quickly so that's why we're there and uh, we have unlocked coal power last stream we also unlocked automated steel last stream it's not crazy but it's just enough to get us going and we're getting really close to the mark three uh, logistics so faster belts faster lifts uh, and mark two miners so we're about to really be able to expand what we can do which will require some rebuilding reorganizing and alternative recipes so that's going to be the first mission today and that is to find some alt recipes as well as uh, expand the coal power plant because we are kind of getting close to the edge of our uh, capabilities right now so cosmic dancer great to see you sweet sandy is here blast jordan also kicking around in chat great to see everybody there Storm Dance got the Discord live notification. That's right. If you don't trust Twitch notifications, because I don't, then check out the Discord. You can do bang Discord in chat to get a link. Uh, we do ask that uh, people are subscribing. So if you are a Twitch subscriber, you can connect your Twitch and your Discord accounts, and then you'll get an automatic invite to the Joel Duggan Discord. You can also go to patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. That's the most affordable way to join the community. And it is a great way to keep me streaming during the week when I have extra time like this or with cool launch events like the Satisfactory 1.0 release. Uh, and Twitch subs are 25% off right now for the month of September. So uh, I think October 1st or something is the last day for that. It's like midnight October 1st. So if you have subbed or if you are subbing uh, to any of your favorite creators, uh, it's a great month to do it because you'll save a little bit of money. So let's dive in here. Let's see what we can do. I'll load up. Working on tier four is where we left off. I also have my satisfactory mug. Courtesy of Cosmic Dancer. Do we, can we scan for hard drives yet? No. Number sloop and the other thing. So, quick explainer for anybody that's just joining with the video stream today. Uh, first, it looks like our tractor is bugged. That's not moving. That should be moving. That's weird. Uh, our other tractor is over there, so that's fine. Oh, there he goes. He's no longer bugged. Maybe it was just the game loading. Uh, so we've got coal coming in from over there, and that's being dropped off. We've got uh, iron ore and coal going into this smelter. No, foundry? Foundry. Uh, and that is being made into pipes and uh, beams, which you can see in the top right-hand corner uh, and the milestone. We need 200 of each. We should be there now. But the big bottleneck right now is we are not producing uh, plates very quickly. So I may try to increase that a little bit. I might switch this um, assembler over to make uh, plates, in, uh, reinforced plates instead of rotors. Let's see what that might look like. My prime go goes into something else on the 24th. Uh, I had to yesterday, so I stood, uh, so still stood, sorry, it stood still until I touched it. My coal plant uh, had gone done. Sorry, Zero. I, I don't know what you mean. Oh, your coal plant had gone down. Uh, I'm right at the point of really needing to go hard drive hunting and have to say it's my least favorite part. Yeah, I'm not a fan either. So we've got a fair amount of rotors. I think I can switch this over, uh, which means that these are not going to be... We're not going to need the the rods for now. So I can send the rods maybe over here. I don't know if we have a lot of rods in backup. No. So let's do that. We will send those rods over here instead. Let's 
So that will store the rods. And then we'll switch this over to reinforced plates. But it needs 30 plates per minute. I don't think... I guess I could have... I guess I could have switched these from rods to plates, couldn't I? That would have been the smarter thing to do, wouldn't it? Alright, well let's do one of them instead. Uh, we'll switch this one. Yeah. I'll do plates here. And... I guess we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Too steep. Oh, I guess it's because of the turn. There we go. The old up and over. <laughs> All right, so that'll help with the reinforced iron plates because we need 400 of those to get to the next tier. Snuggly Boo Bear. I'm going to use Snuggly from now on, but it's always fun to say your first name at least the first time. Welcome in. That's being sorted. Let's see what we got for steel. So we're good on the steel parts. Figured we would be. We're doing 20 per minute, so that's only 10 minutes. We are going to be gone for longer than 10 minutes, so I'm going to put a bin out here. For that. Storm Dan says, I find travel to be slow and the enemy ch um, challenging in a non-fun way. I'm incredibly considering turning the on retaliation mode. I've done it and it is game changing. If uh, it's not your first playthrough, I would recommend turning on retaliation. It allows you to focus on what I feel is the more fun parts of the game. Uh, I've been getting achievements, Storm Dance. I've been getting achievements this whole time. Uh, the only thing that thwarts your achievements is the, um, advanced game settings, as far as I know. As far as I know. There, we are 66% of the way there. We just need those last plates. I'm going to let those build up. I also need to bring the biomass with me. I forgot to bring it last time. And do we have... We've got six coupons. I don't think I have anything I can put in there for now. What can I spare? I can spare maybe some wire. Certainly some concrete. Back of rods. More wire. I'm not storing plates at the moment, so... We're just going to squeak out a few more tickets while we can. Not the rotors. Not the screws. I guess I could throw the steel pipes in there, maybe? We'll do half. 
steel stuff should get us decent decent feedback uh everything else i feel like i'm gonna need it'll be slow but it'll do all right so now i know i'm going to need to build power one two three four i'm gonna need probably another water extractor I need 200 water. I've got two water extractors there. So at least one. I'll add two anyway. And I'm gonna need two more miners. Should be good. All right, first things first, we're gonna take the long way around. So our coal power is up here, but I know that there's a hard drive down here and another one over there. So we're gonna go and get the hard drive. There's one by the coal. You can always do a second playthrough and get the achievements later. That's a good point, Sandy, yeah, totally. It is your first playthrough of Storm Dance, uh, but you're so bad at PvE that I'm not going to be bothered, I think. Yeah, you know, I th there's no wrong way to play Satisfactory. It's it's very similar to Minecraft in this way. Uh, I feel like if you want to do belt spaghetti, if you can keep track, go for it. If you, if you want to do other things, then, you know, like, building big takes a long time. And the risk is that you end up with saves like mine that just are unplayable. Uh, BL Andrew, I'm sure, has had many issues uh, with his stuff. Oh, there's a yellow power slug. I think we already have one of those, though. Now, can I... Oh, I did build... I did I did keep the land bridge. I wasn't sure if I kept the, the bridge or if I just had the belt. That's good. There should be a hard drive right over there. Oh, I almost made it. Oh, hey, look. I forgot about this. We don't have sulfur yet. Unknown chemical element collected. This non-metallic and multivalent element seems to be present only in a solid state and exhibits a most pungent smell. It is fortunate fix-it helmets are of such high quality. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Another summer sloop that I forgot about. I love what they did with the fog. It looks really good. Not that we have a lot of power to spare, but we'll at least look into what might be possible with summer sloops early game thought it was nearby there it is it's so nice not to have to worry about um, collecting foliage all the time now Any goodies stuff don't see anything else too busy operational yes just required some stuff oh no well we'll get rid of that something I really noticed about my devastators playthrough is that we unlocked the um, the dimensional storage and it's really handy when you're um, exploring and your inventory fills up with like one of everything it's uh, it's really really cool now were there any other resource nodes over here that I need to take note of I feel like there's some stuff I need to mark down I know space um, 
feel like we have plenty of concrete. Sorry to hear you. The other save ha is having trouble. It must be frustrating. I'm personally happy. It's so little um, to see a little more of the early game, though. Oh, that's cool. And that's, this is why I'm doing it. It's because it makes sense. Uh, there's a lot of satisfactory content creators out there that started brand new and have plans to do long term. The problem is I've just been so consistently building up satisfactory on my on my channel and i'm not at endgame i didn't do a nuclear power if i had gone through basically the entire capabilities of satisfactory ahead of 1.0 i would have started over and would have been fine with it um, but i just i really wanted to continue that devastator factory and i really i'm i like the creative freedom of having that power plant finish that megatron sixty thousand megawatt power plant it's uh it's really cool uh i want to scan I think it's copper. I'm going to do a little reconnaissance here. Impure and impure. I have a, a system for labeling stuff. Oh, I can do a subcategory. I didn't know that. Um, copper color. Start there. Um, it's more of a brown. Do you remember what I used for copper in the other playthrough? Probably closer to that. I do miss all my custom colors I had saved in the other game. That was also nice. And then once you've got the color set up, it becomes a lot easier. I guess I should change this to an actual coal color as well. And that is actually a pure node. And it's going to temp steel automation. It's weird when you do um, certain keys, you can feel your character moving around. And I'm always hesitant doing that out here on the edges of stuff. Uh, can you transfer those settings via the satisfaction calculator? I don't know. It's a really good question. That looks like something we have to blow up. Is that Caterium? I think that's Caterium. Leap of faith. It is. We can finally get Caterium going. Uh, I have to sacrifice something, though. Uh, I guess I will sacrifice... Plates? Sure. More man research. Unknown metal collected. This metallic element is showing properties similar to those in group 11 on the periodic table, such as high conductivity and malleability. Hmm. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. What I should do while I do a couple of other things here is put these guys down. 
I'm going to bring up the ma'am. Caterium. Caterium and Selfer we can unlock. The metal has been named Caterium after Fix It's greatest CEO, Katerina Parks. It has been added as a viable alternative to gold in industrial applications, specifically in advanced electronics due to its superconductivity, malleability, and corrosion resistance. Stormdance says, I wonder what it is about Devastator that the game is unhappy with. I know uh, the world borders changed with 1.0. No, it's not the world borders. I was very well aware of those world borders and didn't build close to them. Uh, Devastator seems to be a rendering issue uh, because it doesn't happen when I'm not streaming. Something about the Devastator save taxes either my GPU or my CPU to the point where Satisfactory crashes. Uh, and weirdly, it doesn't crash OBS. It just crashes Satisfactory. But I can play the Devastator save for like two hours on my own. I just don't like playing by myself because then I'm kind of um, cannibalizing my own content, right? Research completed. Caterium ingot recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. So now I need to make quick wire. And no, that needs 50 ingots. I'm not going to do that right now. Let's do the sulfur. Don't want to ditch the caterium. Getting down to the wire now. Feels bad to delete stuff. I need the miners. Hard drive hunting unfortunately leaves you with very little space in your inventory. Um, you know what? Maybe I can just use a workbench and quickly craft some ingots. Um, let's just put that down for now. Hobo Skunk, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. If you're watching this later, Matt Boy 358, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. So this will reduce the stack size for the Caterium. I think we needed 50 ingots to go to the next level. Again, opening up some inventory space. I could also ditch the pale berries and the the nuts too. shop. Research completed. Quickwire recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. So then we've got into needs quickwire, needs quickwire, needs quickwire. So that's the end of that for now. We also have the sulfur. This will help with explosives. Yay. This unknown chemical element was in reality an unusual mixture of solid sulfide and sulfate materials from which sulfur can be extracted. Sulfur's primary use lies in fertilizers, which we have no use for. 
Instead, this element enables access to more volatile obstacle clearing and pioneer defending tools. So we get explosives. Can I use... I could empty out that. Power slug scanning. Power shard. I think I'll do that. Research completed. Yellow power slugs are further into their life cycle than blue power slugs, and thus have more potential energy stored. They can now be processed into power shards. Cool, so now we can unlock overclocking if we need to. Make the rest of these ingots quickly. <laughs> Sluggy shards, yeah. Man, we are in the middle of a weird September heat wave right now. It's uh, it's not overly like warm, but the humidity is hovering at like a hundred percent today. It is sticky. To say the least and I'm just I'm noticing it like I just everything feels thick you know and I just feel like being I notice it more like when you're quote unquote you know on when you're on camera or on mic you kind of have to have that little extra energy that little extra awareness and I just immediately feel warm you know I feel the the hotness of the air it's uh it feels like the dead of like July or August but it's not um, Caterium, Mycelia, Sulfur. That needs more Sulfur and Coal. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, no, I gotta do the hard drive. Now we're good. Okay, and I need to mark Caterium on the map. Can I scan for Caterium yet? Yes. I think that was pure. And it's kind of like a yellow color. I don't want to do too beige because that's too close to concrete. Did I spell that right? I really wish that when you open this up, that you were already in the search box. The fact that you have to click on the search box really adds an extra click for me. Yeah, it's spelled right. Okay. And I'll just double check that it is indeed pure. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, somewhere along this way, a lot farther along is another, another hard drive. I, however, have no way of getting back safely. So, we're probably going to need a bridge back here anyway. That's what we'll do. We're going to have to come back this way, for sure. The 
more iron nodes down here. These are, I want to say, normal. No, impure. That's right. This is the cluster of impure nodes. Alright, I won't bother with that just right now. I don't need more of those at the moment. What I'm looking for is another crash site, but I think it's over by the waterfall. Kind of taking the long way around. That was close. I don't trust these crevices. Like, you just never know what's going to be at the bottom of them. Now, I think there's another crash site up there. But I know there's one on this little island out here. I don't remember it being this steep, but I think that I was just building so high with Metroplex the last time I built in this area that I was just never on the ground. Such trauma from Minecraft, nether and holes in the floor? Oh, totally. Yeah, the Minecraft Nether will get you. So I know we only just started uh, about 40 minutes ago, but I need to take a break early today. I just got a couple things around the apartment that are timed that I need to uh, give my attention to. So I am going to step away for just a short break. Uh, we will try to find a pretty view for you all. And we'll look at the space elevator, maybe. Well... Maybe not where you can hear that constantly. Oh, is that more quartz? Oh, perfect. We need more for the silica tree. Now there's a view. Uh, give me uh, about five or 10 minutes, folks. I'll be right back.
All right, back. Okay, let's get out of photo mode. And there was quartz right here. Thank you, Sandy. Appreciate it. I just realized my mic is in a weird spot. Looked kind of like it was sticking out the top of my head or something. There's the crash site that I was looking for. Now, did I... Was I smart and unlock ladders? No. Don't think I did. One thing you can do, though, is climb the sides of containers. These guys have got ladders on them. So it's an easy way to get up. And we got concrete, pipes, rotors, wire. Nothing we are not already building. So not a huge win for stuff, but at least we'll get another hard drive out of it. Oh, I don't have room for those. Really? What do I have to sacrifice now? Uh, the concrete. Because those are going towards our next goal. Did the hard drive notice ding? Out of curiosity? Goal again. We've got lots of that. I realize I forgot to mark that other drop pod, too. Was that one that was sort of around there yeah because there's a little land bridge so it's it's both there Remember there being a subcategory, but I'm sure there was. Okay. Got the Caterium, got the drop pod. So now there is another drop pod over there, but I think it's probably better from an inventory standpoint to just keep on going up this way and head towards our coal. Because there is another pod over this way, too. Somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. Here's the road. Or path. Need some pocket dimension inflation. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. Did I see something orange into the corner of my eye? No, it was a flower. Clever game design. Satisfactory, clever game design. I don't need to worry about the Xeno Zapper. Uh, we have the animals set on Retaliate. This is not my first playthrough. Why does the effigy avoid the windows? Attention. 
your brain's operations are outside typical parameters. Hmm? Time spent daydreaming will be deducted from your sustenance budget. Power lines, there we go. Yeah, what do I have in my hand slots? Uh, oh, you're right, I could put... I see what you mean. I could free up some space. That way, that's true. I thought it was already full. All right, plan time. I think we're just gonna horizontally expand another four. Seems like the easiest way to do it. Question is, which coal node? Probably the next closest one, right? This one's got a rock on it. So this one would be what we would use. Oh, sweet. It does fit up there. Awesome. Try not to go through the trees and move all around. Maybe we'll add just a little bit of space for now. And then here, see how many I need. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's lots of room. Perfect. Hopefully we don't run out of concrete. We might. Now I think this other coal part started on the edge. Yep. So I'll start over here. Let me line them up. I wish that that line would show farther. I feel like it should show you a lot farther. Right? Like, it'll snap to them, but then after a while it, it doesn't lock. I feel like it used to lock a lot farther. Is it me? It's 
one, two, three. Oh, I built up in the wrong spot. One more. Feels like the snapping line is shorter now. 100%. Yeah, it does. Gives us a little lane for logistics, which is good. And I did this on this end. fast way to get the um, things to line up. Delete these afterwards and you're good. One, two, three, and four for coal. And that'll come out this way. I guess I'll just do a two high belt. That makes sense. I didn't check to see what node that was. Normal, it's fine. Okay. So we're not gonna need that one. Instead, we use this one. go around the trees. Oh, I can use the chainsaw and use the alt mode. Single mode. I don't care if I get the leaves or not. Oh, can't. I brought the wrong biofuel. Whoops. Can I make I can make a regular biofuel, right? I brought biomass and I meant to bring biofuel. I would love to see a drone option like Imperion, where you can get a bird's eye view during placement. Yeah, No Man's Sky has a build camera like that, although the camera in No Man's Sky is terrible. Yeah, this will keep us going for a while for sure, Dan. All right, so now I should be able to just get rid of you. Basically what I don't want to do is chop down these cool big trees. Which I know sounds silly, but... Okay. 
Where's the... That's the one. This is 60. We'll just regular belt. And we'll do... I guess that. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Not divisible by six in a friendly way. Um, all right. Start here instead. Straight to me. I really should have built a better way up here. I have a long way to go. And this is just for ease of changing it later or... Doing whatever. You fit, give me. Oh, good. Connect. Perfect. So now I'll just get rid of all this other stuff that we don't need and just bring back the one that we do need. Somewhere here. There it is there. Cool. And we have uh no, I didn't unlock the power didn't unlock the power pull side things, did I? I wish I had done that now. That's fine. Uh, the power is on the left side. We'll do here for that. I really should have put the power in before I deleted everything. That was dumb. Oh, Boo, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Um, you know, maybe I'll 
maybe I'll run the power right next to the belt. I used to get fussy about which way the power poles faced, and now I just can't be bothered. Because they're not, they're sort of like asymmetrical. Let there be power. So I like to hook up my coal power first. Uh, or my coal to my coal power plants first because then it gives me the opportunity to um did that come on yeah um because it gives me the opportunity to let these fill up first although i might be able to hook up the water before the coal even gets here That one. Yeah, there's quite a few things in the game, uh, models, that I wish were a little bit more futuristic looking, but I also wish were symmetrical. I wish the power poles were symmetrical. I feel like it would be something most people would like. And you don't have to do this many power poles. I just find it keeps it organized and it allows you to troubleshoot a lot faster if you need to. That should not have broken our connection. We should be still pumping out power down that way. Coal's gonna come in there. We have the first one, second one, Third one and fourth one all hooked up. So now we just need to do the pipes. And that's on the middle. Okay, that's going to be easy. One. Come on. Two. And three. So this is 50 water. That's going to be one, two, three, four. So that's 200. And this is 400 altogether. So I'm definitely going to need two pipes here. Um, this one is going to have to split. I'm going to have to put in another water extractor over here. Yeah, like it just, it snaps off the line. Which is really annoying. I wish it would just stay.
Not that it really matters, but... That's weird that it, it clips in there and it's fine, but if I put it anywhere else... Okay. Um, I'm just going to use this center point here. This is where a tower would probably be handy. Not a hover drone, but it's close. This is all going to move and change anyway. Yep, definitely was a good idea to get up higher. So that will bring water up for this one. Uh, that's not enough, though. So at some point, what we need to do is connect these two pipes and redirect this guy to go into the middle of them. So there'll have to be a merger here. Or not a merger, but like a... Is that right? I'm not sure what else it was connecting to, but sure. Uh, this is going to have to move. Just aesthetically speaking, that's fine. Still look the same. So we can connect that up. And... I should be able to connect the others up once I create this other pipe bend. Which is going to be something that's going to look better anyway. Now I should be able to go right from here. Goes in a funny angle. That's fine. Let's just use this. And should be able to go to here. Weird look, but I'll take it. Uh, how do I do this nice and neatly?
by taking that higher first, right? that's the same height? Nope, not even close. A little twisty, but hopefully it'll work. Looks like the water extractor is just going to pump sand. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So this will come into this pipe. This will come into this pipe and split. And then this will combine. I hope. Water is always a little bit tricky in this game. So now I just need to power this water extractor. And to do that, I'm going to pull this guy down. You are one tick left of the middle. Ah, it's tricky. Why is that? Do that. Still not the best. So that should start pumping water up there. And then now all I have to do is just change this pipe. I don't know the single pipe won't hold everything, so I might have to do two pipes. But the fact that these pipes are consuming, I don't have any valves yet, so that's the other thing. As long as it doesn't fluctuate, we should be fine. Because I'm putting... Um, well, I guess could, I could underclock the, the water, too. That's another good idea. So I've got... What did I say? I need 400? Yeah, 200 for each set of four. This is doing 120. That's doing 120. That's 240. So this... Oh, we're not doing... I need three water extractors? Or four? Do I need four water extractors? I did the math wrong. Gotta go for now, says Storm Dance. Have a great rest of stream. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. 
You have 360, you need 400. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So the connection in the middle is not something that needs to happen or can happen. I actually have to keep them both separate. Right. That's fine. I'll just have to make another one of these. Why don't I turn him sideways? Alright, new plan. Not a new plan when I'm out of concrete, though. Now we play Concrete Leapfrog. So you can snap the water extractors to stuff that's on the foundation. Which is very handy. Should be able to do this in one go. I disconnected one coal burner. How'd I do that? With the power? Oh, I did. Thank you. How? Oh, with the pipe? With the pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not going to happen. That means that this... It needs to go back there. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Like I said, temporary coal setup just to kind of get us going until I design everything. And this should be a simple... Straight line, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just need to have a couple more of these. I do find it strange how you kind of have to make pipes first, and then connect things to them later. It's 
It's like you kind of have to make the thing, delete the thing, make the thing, delete the thing. A little tricky. Okay. So then I'll underclock each one of these to only do 100 a piece. And that will be good. I just need power out here. And I can bring this down this way, which is actually a lot cleaner, so I don't mind. Another reason why I'm out of concrete is uh, I keep on building poles. I feel like a floating pontoon. <laughs> Those guys are going. Turn these guys down. Oh, I can't do that. I can't turn them down yet. I don't have that unlocked. Uh, I'm so thinking late game. I just, there's so many different strategies that you use later on. So that should be everything going now, right? Nope. Nothing much, uh, nothing, nothing breaks with too much water. That's fair. Uh, no power. There we go. And you're just the last one on the link for water. See, the good news is that we were able to front load the coal. Supported fuel types. Huh. So that takes us up to 600 megawatts. 75 times 8. These will take a minute to spin up. The good news is that water will eventually saturate the pipe. We have just enough headroom here, or head lift, I guess I should say. Snuggly, thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Enjoy your lunch. I think we're good. I didn't forget anything, did I? I do like the look of the concrete. Very industrial. I think I played the game so much early game or early release 
in development that I just got so sick of the, the plain foundations that I never use them. The moment I can avoid them, I go in a different direction. And we cannot leave that unchanged. Now it looks semi-solid. I must have missed it. I didn't see the ma'am come up for research. Iron pipe. We got it. Fantastic. Yeah, we are taking iron pipe. We no longer need to use coal to make these pipes. That is coming with me. Thank you kindly. Click. Wicked. Uh, hard drives. One more. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm not thinking I'm leaving anything behind. I think I tied it up pretty nicely. Uh, I need to update the map. As this is now um, full power. Uh, it's not 0.8, it's 0.08, I guess. You have to be careful with your colors because they show up alphabetically. Not they're not grouped by color. So if you're calling different things different kinds of yellows, you almost want to use yellow first and then the descriptor. Hello, are you on early access save or a fresh 1.0 save? Good sir, says garlic bread. Now I want garlic bread. Uh, I should have had garlic bread for lunch. I had a sandwich instead. I am on a new 1.0 save. Uh, Devastator, the main playthrough, the 1100 hour transformer combiner monster factory is getting a lot of crashes. So rather than sit here being frustrated on stream, we are uh, doing the 1.0 playthrough. And uh, there's been a number of people in our community that are new to Satisfactory. So it's been good to have those people um, be able to follow along. Um, Snuggly Bear. Snuggly Boo Bear, Snuggly Boo Bear, who was just here, uh, said that they really enjoyed seeing more early game. So that's good. Uh, coal, that's untapped. And this is untapped, but under rocks. And I'm not going to use the same color. We're going to use a yellow if I have one. Let's just get a good cautionary yellow on here. That's pretty good. Crap. That's annoying. Uh, 
uh, yellow. Just to let us know we've got to do something with that one. Uh, I guess I can get rid of this too now. Because I know where this is. Not too worried. Uh, my old crash is, uh, my old save is crashing randomly. It seems to be a rendering thing, and it may be unique to my computer. Uh, I know a lot of other people are having some crashes, but, uh, what's happening is that we are in the main factory, and whenever the graphics are pushed, uh, the game crashes. It doesn't crash OBS, but it doesn't crash when I'm not streaming either, so it's like a combination of OBS. It's either attacks on the, um, on the system, uh, or a combination of attacks on the graphics card and Unreal. So I am hoping that Coffee Stain comes out with a patch. Um, but for now, I'm just going to focus on, on this playthrough. Uh, and I don't like the colors here, so we're going to switch that up a bit. Black and red, why not? I love that the lifts paint correctly now. There's all these little sacrifices we had to make when we were doing the early playthrough. Let's grab a blue. Hmm. No. Gross. That's actually kind of cool. Let's do that. Reminds me of Scourge, the um, Decepticon guy who's a hovercraft. I think he was only in the film. Whoops. Do that again. Nope. I'm stuck. Thank you, Sweet Sandy. Much appreciated. Uh, let's grab that again. Cool. So, it's not amazing looking, but this is going to open up the game for us. And again, within the first hour of actual building, I think we took a good half an hour or more to run around looking for hard drives. Uh, but within the first hour of building, we've got... And now we've doubled our power. We have the ability to... Uh, double this again with one more node. Uh, and then if we unlock miners, uh, mark two miners, then we can um, quadruple it. So I think we're good. I do want to see if I can get a good screenshot here, though. That's not bad. Unfortunately, my screenshot button still doesn't work in this game. Don't want to fall down.
So I'm gonna do like a a window screenshot. But yeah, if I just do if I just do this. It says photo save, but like I can't find it anywhere on my hard drive. Nowhere. I can put the colors in the hot bar. You're right, I can. Yep. I just haven't... We haven't gotten to the design phase yet in this playthrough, so... What I think I'm going to do is set up some basic, like, grays, some basic um, color ranges like that. And then I'm going to use, like, the custom color one. I did the, they give you enough in the game, but it, it's also cumbersome to use a bunch of different colors. I find it challenging, so... Ma'am, research complete. Nice. We'll check that before we go on break. Do you give uh, pipes the color of the liquid inside? I very often do, yeah. Uh, it's also fun because a lot of the liquids are like bright purple, you know, um, for something like heavy oil residue or some of the gases are like pink and yellow. So you can have some really cool looking pipes. Um, there's also supposed to be like a secondary color in the pipes. I don't know if they fixed the way that that worked, but it didn't usually work with it before. Because every, every every color swatch has got like a primary and a secondary. But we should be screaming now at a good 600 megawatts, right? Yep. Capacity, 600. Consumption, well below here. Max consumption, we are just a little over half. So we are laughing future and I hope that we have enough uh, plates for this the hover pack is extremely buff compared to early access is it really garlic bread that's cool because I found the range in the hover pack to be kind of rough I haven't noticed much though in the Devastator playthrough. We're obviously out of room here. Sweet. Let's just dump a bunch of stuff that we don't need to carry. I don't know why I'm still producing biomass, but I will. At least we'll have it. All right. Uh, summer sloop, slug, quartz, uh, caterium. I'll keep that. That should be good. So now I, we might have the last 400 plates. Send that off before I go on break. FYI, there was a patch released about 20 minutes ago. The only thing that is supposed to fix is a crashing bug. Potential fix for a crash and saves with conveyor belts lifts. Hmm. How many hours are your new save? Uh, 15 maybe? We're going to find out in a second. That auto save. I guess I should have put this into a bin. They filled up. Survey says... 12 hours. I was shy. 12 hours. I would very much prefer to go back to my old one. If I can play the old one on stream and have it not crash, I will 100% do that. This is a good one to have as a backup, though. So I don't mind that I've done this. And again, like I said, the community has been enjoying, enjoying it. Logistics Mark 3, let's go. Milestone reached. Improved storage containers and the conveyor belt Mark 3 provide the obviously necessary tools for improving your current setup. Production speed is of the essence after all. 
So work hard. Work as if every person you have ever or will ever love is depending solely on the choices <laughs> that you make. Because they are. Nice. Warning. Fix-it psychologists recommend not dwelling on the crushing mental and physical strain of your responsibilities and simply continuing to be productive. Hard work has repeatedly proven to be the best cure for any kind of stress. Now back to work. Well played. That was quite good. Very, very funny. Mark II belts are horrible to craft? I don't mind them. Mark three, you mean? That's why I've been making pipes, and um, look at the look at the goodies, look at all the good stuff. That's why I've been doing that in the background. Mark three, you mean? Yeah. Okay. I think we're good there. The MAM research is ready. And we got iron wire too. Sweet. I think we snagged that. I think we snagged the iron wire. Unless... If I leaving it here... We... Oh no, I had that before. This is the new one. Steel screw? No. Is this the new one? Weird. I don't remember which is which. Um, if there's no rescans remaining, this isn't the one that we just got. So, I don't want the steel screw. I want the cast screw from iron. So I'm going to leave these where they are. Iron wire will come in handy, but I'm not using it right this instant. What I'm really hoping for is cast screws and uh, stitched iron plates. Stitch reinforced iron plates. The ones that use, it uses wire. It uses wire instead of screws. And with iron wire, we can use iron for wire and iron for plates and have completely like very simple um, stitched iron plates. Yeah, the inventory slot's not bad, but um, I don't want this, so I'm going to leave it there like that. I could also rescan this one too. It's hard to say. Did we... we... I don't know if we unlocked anything. Pick a new blueprint here. So we did logistics mark three. That's good. Advanced steel. That's the minor mark two. Build gun upgrade blueprints. I might be able to do that sooner than later. We do not have um, modular frames being built just yet. What's the recipe for those? Right, and rods. We could make some of those. I'm really low on reinforced plates though because I just sunk 400 of them. Either way, I have to make good on that break that Sandy reminded me of. I know it's not quite dark, but we can mess around in the dark when I get back. I do want to stick to those breaks today as best I can. Uh, it makes for longer satisfactory sessions to be more enjoyable for me, hopefully for you too. If you're new to the channel, folks, as I think some of you may be, I do take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to grab another cup of coffee. gives you a chance to grab a friend and let them know that we're streaming. We are trying to grow the channel, so if you wouldn't mind spreading the word, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, just give me about five or six minutes. I will be right back.
And so it looks like we don't have everything running. A lot of stuff is moving though, so that's pretty good. Although, man, we really have things snaked around in places we don't need to. Um, I guess the main thing is going to be figuring out what to do with our next milestone. And I can take this off the list. And I think we've done both of our checklist as well. We're good over here. Nice. So tier two is just the jump pads. Tier three is one hand equipment slot and three inventory slots. I could probably unlock that right now. Do I have a hundred of those plates? No, I don't. Okay. Um, don't let me forget about the inventory slots. That's probably pretty handy. Blueprints are going to come in handy, but not right now. I think this is probably the next thing we should shoot for. I know I can do the concrete right now. I feel like I've got the rotors as well. And then the pipes I also have. So really it's just getting a hundred of these little guys. So let's set up some automation for the um, modular frames. So we are doing five per minute. Not really. We're doing, oh yeah, we're doing five per minute there. And five per minute there. So I could just add another temporary machine here. We also have to look at our tickets and unlock some cool stuff in the awesome shop. I also need to streamline our storage a little bit. It's a little on the quirky side, I think. Is this full? It is full. Wow. Reman87, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Big head face, good to see you. Reman, where did you find the stream? Just a satisfactory fan coming in from the Spun Trunks Minecraft podcast, perhaps? So these are going to come out and they're going to get combined. And let's face this this way. Uh, what does this need? Rods and reinforced iron plates. Well, the reinforced iron plates can go here. wrong way. Yeah, it depends on which way they face. They don't always line up right. So we're going to combine doing 10 and it needs 3 Plus 12 rods per minute. That'll back up. That's fine. 
rods are currently just going to storage so we can switch that around and have that go somewhere else instead because we should be okay for rods yeah we're good So from here, this is a merger. I'm just going to rotate this around. Like that, I'm not. And this just needs some power. So once the rods get here, we should be good to go. Don't remember how many that is. It's not quite, it's uh, 15, we only needed 12. So that's going to back up as well. So that means we're not spending everything we're making on something else. We've got some backup for storage and all that stuff. And I can take these as well. Nice. Man, that is really jarring. I, you know what? I'm going to turn that off. I have moderators in my own stream timer for this. Uh... Where auto save notifications, break notifications, apply. It's good that they do it, but man, that noise is rough. Um, yeah, whenever I do not play the game, I love to watch as much as I can and get ideas and motivation, sort of. Uh, I check on pioneers to see if they are efficient. Only I'm not Ada. Very cool. Well, this is not efficient. This is a starter third area. Also, I'm from the other side of the world. Uh, a town named... Oh, man. I can't pronounce that. Netherlands. Very cool. We did get freed in World War II thanks to Canadians. <laughs> so thanks, I guess. Very, very cool. My grandfather was in the Second World War. I'm making a blueprint at the moment, but the splitter and merger keep going outside of the snapping box. That white line. Any idea why that keeps happening? Um, I think it's probably the merger snapping to the center of something as opposed to um, the actual output. Uh, remember that you can, even in the blueprint designer, if you press H, it locks the hologram, and then you can walk around and then nudge it. And if you hold... Um, if you hold control, it goes in smaller increments. So that's a meter, and that's a half meter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So that might help. Let me know. Yeah, I find the snapping is weird, and that's it's always been like that. It's always been like that. So at least that's being made in the background. So that's that. Um, I think it might be time to start thinking about where we're going to build a larger factory dedicated to something. 
We could also look for another hard drive and find some more Caterium. I do know where that is. And we do have a tractor. Thirty-six. Oh, I need to make quick wire. That's what I need to do. Need one hundred quick wire. Yeah. What's the quick wire recipe? One twelve to sixty, one to five. Might be able to get as much might be able to get it out of that, you know? Tomorrow will be my second start of Sactory 1.0. Sadly, today I died to a horrific spider fight uh, and treated to the first world like a hardcore. Oh no. Almost made it to oil, so I have to weaken hard drive hunting ahead of me. Next world will be a permanent one. Uh, Riemann, yeah, that's that's tough. I'm My main save is crashing, so I have to start over too. There are some bugs in the Blueprint Designer, um, Chippy. Uh, you can always check the um, Satisfactory Bug Report website. It's There's a link in chat, I think. If you do bang SF bugs, maybe? Let me check that. Nope. Hold on. There is a command. I thought we had a link to the feedback site. Oh well, I can just find the site. Satisfactory Q&A. Questions.satisfactory.com Oh, Sandy beat me to it. Thanks, Sandy. Wonder how long it would take to craft 70, probably too long. That was pretty fast. More Caterium research, yay! That's New what Caterium I want. New Caterium research options available. Congratulations on finding this medal. Many Fixit initiatives will benefit from Caterium's applicability in advanced engineering. Also, it is probably not sentient and so unlikely to feel pain as we exploit it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Most likely not sentient. Nice. They think, right? Yeah. So this might be able to get us to, I think, the Blade Runners. This will help us considerably as well. If I can get, I think it's 50 silica that I needed. And we are 
just over that now. Yay. Blade Runners unlocked. Equipped to run faster, jump with greater force, and decrease fall damage that might otherwise have lowered your value to fix it. <laughs> lowered your value to fix it. Fantastic. All right. Old and busted. Take note. Old and busted. The jumping is sad. Cannot jump on these things. We cannot jump up on four meter foundations. Is sad, is slow. Is no more. I mean, I could probably make that one. Yeah, just. And just make it. Witness. Speed. Jumping. Jumping on top of things. Incredibly well. No more falling off that thing and taking damage. Yay. So much faster. Victory is mine. Quartz. 200 silica for a lot of slots, but. Quartz crystal, new shop products. Oh, for probably lights and glass. How many tickets do we have now? 12 altogether. Is there anything that we want? at this stage. Raymond, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Management. I am going to steal those, I think. Those are going to come in handy. Uh, light control panel... We can do street lights now. Um, customizer, not too fussed about the custom stuff just yet. Don't need any of those. Don't need walls. I feel like it's the architecture stuff. I feel like some of this might be fun. I feel like a concrete pillar would be good to have. I do like the new barriers too. New metal barrier. But as far as building what we're building right now, I do feel like the concrete pillar is something we're going to snag. Don't need equipment. I will just take that as well. That's five out of 12. I might need those soon. Yeah, let's get those too. I want to spend it all in one spot. We'll do that. So six. We'll have six tickets. Yes. That's going slow. Let's get in the tractor and go get another hard drive. And I think that should be good. We should be we have lots of stuff when we get back. Oh, this is so much faster.
Did they address the noise at all in the dev stream yesterday? No! Write yourself. You're called Clip Jumper. Act like it. Hey, more quartz. I didn't see that the first time. Yeah, it's just easy to sit in my lazy chair and watch. Sometimes you forget to do things. I would swear I've never seen you before, uh, but Twitch says this is my first time watching. I do get a strong Minecraft vibes from your voice. Could have you heard it on another platform before? Uh, yeah, Spawn Trunks podcast. Yep, I've been doing the Spawn Trunks podcast for six years. Another Mercer Sphere up there. I'll have to grab that. And there is our hard drive mission. And, I believe, Ethereum. Yep. Pretty sure that's pure. I guess that didn't that didn't take yeah the clicking on these nodes is not the best up a bit. Did I bring enough concrete? I hope I did. Yes. Should be good. don't trust it <laughs> when you can't see it. I know you can walk out there when you build stuff, but I just, I usually wait. And the water down here looks so good now. And I've got the water settings on low just to kind of be easier on my system. Well, I really appreciate you coming over from the, uh, the Spawn Chunks podcast, Freeman. That's awesome. Just normal stuff. I don't think there's anything too special. I don't know whether this is the same every time or whether that kind of re-rolls the junk that lays around.
I've also made the mistake of deleting something I was standing on before. Way to give yourself a heart attack. I may leave some of this here for the Caterium. Oh, hold on. Not going to be that guy. So, when we're ready for Caterium, we have that sorted. I can also drop uh, a little tag here. Drop pod retrieved. And then there is Something else that I didn't need to do. One of these I didn't need to have on the HUD. That's fine. Now where was that Mercer Sphere? It was on this one maybe? Oh, more quartz. Nice. More silica is required. How do you make the deleting color blue? You can go into your options, go under user interface, and you can change any of these colors. Hologram color, dismantle hologram color, hard clearance hologram color, which I have red, and soft clearance is green. Um, and I, you can make them more pale. If you make them more pale, I find that it is easier to see. My delete color is, or my dismantle hologram color is, is more saturated because it's easier to see at a distance. Um, but then the hologram color is really pale. It is, yeah, like almost white. Uh, and the reason is that you can see a lot more detail of the, of the models when you're putting them down. I hear it, I don't see it. I think it's up there. Ooh, we got industrial storage now. Nice. No, it's over there. Well then. Uh-oh. Lava donkey. You would be mad at me? I do find the vehicles a lot more touchy to play with. That is not a good place to be, bird. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. See, we've got a lot of really good nodes over here, but I don't really want to build over here. There's not a lot of space. 
We have to build tall and narrow. How we doing? Halfway there. Those only stack to 50? They only stack to 50. Okay, we need to put that into a bin then. That was a mistake on my part. I forgot to check the stack size. What I should do is maybe take some time and change the color of the base. I think we need to, to work on that a little bit. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. All right, more quartz. And another Mercer Sphere, Summer Sloop. I need to find Samor. All right, we're kind of stuck there. We don't need the Summer Slope right now. Kind of stuck. Um, Quartz had more... 200 Silica. No, that's what I want. Oh, I can't do it because the hard drive. Right, so that's what we want to do with the quartz. Sulfur, we just need more sulfur. Yeah, I'll do that. Well, again, I can't do it. Do wait. Okay. So if I was to change some of these colors here. Fix it fast swatch. So these already have like pre-saved. Yeah, you can go back to them if you ever wanted to. What is a good transformer Autobot color combo? Just so we can have this start to look a little bit different than your average satisfactory playthrough. Do you consider rerolling hard drives after um Going back to hard safe, um, hard safe cheating. I don't know what you mean about cheating. Um, we re-roll re sometimes, um, but the way that the hard drive pool works this early in the game where I only have like, I've only done five hard drives total. I like a yellow hue color would be a transformer vibey. Um, yeah, where I'm only, um, a few hard drives in. I want to kind of pool them. There's a few that we're looking for. Looking for stitched iron plates and cast screws. Stitched iron plates would remove the need for cast screws immediately, so I'd prefer to have stitched plates if I can find it. So here are a bunch of transformer images. I mean, red and red and gray, maybe? That'd be kind of fun. Kind of Optimus Prime. Starscream's also red and gray. Has some blue in there. Who's that? That looks like AI garbage. It's everywhere, folks. It's so bad. That's not even a real image. The blue and red for Ultra Magnus is kind of fun too. Yeah, like a light gray and a red or light gray and a blue. Let's go light gray and red for now. I didn't catch that. Was that the hard drive? Edit. Uh, let's go with a red. 
and hmm Matt ooh that's dark uh, we're gonna have to change that let's go bring that up to say 55 and then down to like 95 and is that close uh, maybe a little bit more that's pretty good well, let's call that um Feels like an Autobot red. And then for this one, let's go with a gray. This is going to be pretty easy. I feel like more like a 60%. And default, maybe? The gray is only the highlight, so it doesn't really make much difference. It's just a little highlight part. What's the difference between Fix It Factory and Project Assemblies Watch? Oh. That still has to be the same. Okay. Well, we can... Um, maybe we can come up with a nice blue for that. Uh, let's do... Kind of like a... Cobalt blue. And we'll just use the same 60% gray, which I didn't save. Nice. Very cool. So if we wanted to, we could make like some of our steel buildings be be blue for fun. Yeah, that feels a little bit more it's still kind of dark. The um there's a lot of metal on everything that's very dark. Um Foundation, concrete structures watch, pipelines watch. Cool. It's all coming back to me. I think we're kind of red too, now that I think about it. Snuggly, thanks very much. Yeah, so the light gray are these little bits on the side. I wish we could change the color and the brightness of some of the dark metal parts because this feels very dark. But I don't think we can change that. Yeah, it just changes the highlight stuff. And I don't have access to any of the materials yet. All right, now we're really close. Catch you later, Mr. Duggan. I'm off to soccer practice. Have a great practice 
Riemann, I really appreciate you coming by. Thanks again for listening to the Spawn Chunks. Cheers. Have a good one. Uh, I might, I think I'm, where am I for breaks? When was the last time I took a break? Am I past it? I think I might be past it. Did you say pink, Sandy? I'm assuming you said pink. Yeah, I don't want to go for gold with the Optimus Prime right away and go for the red and and um, gray too much. Like, I'm okay with the machines being like that for now, but the buildings, I don't want to make them too, too bright. I thought so, Sandy. I thought so. Did I stop before that was done? I stopped before that was done. Advanced steel production. Milestone reached. Ooh, it's got the minor mark white stripe on it. Allows extraction of resources from nature to fix it at twice the speed of the Mark I model. Miners can be directly upgraded to Mark II without removing the Mark I model, just like conveyor belts and other upgradable infrastructure. Nice. Unfortunately, setting up the production of advanced steel parts and project part number three, automated wiring, will not be as easy. Every moment you delay reduces the chances of saving humanity. I will not show you the predictions. It would only demotivate you. <laughs> All models point to doom. Good to know. Expanded power, power storage, power tower, power platform. Hyper tubes. And I want to say blueprints are probably what we need to go for next. Tier three. We might actually be able to get this now that I think about it. Do I have a hundred of those? I do. Let's go with that. Uh, nope. Tier three inventory slot and hand slot. I just need to get more things. One, two, three, and one, two, three. I think I might be running out of space. Not used to the Blade Runners. Oh, I have to wait till it returns. Crap. Uh, one, two, three, one, two. Three and 100. So when that's back, we are ready to go. Yeah, the Blade Runners are fast. And hard drive complete. I didn't see that at all. Did we... That's the new one. Steel frame. What is the original recipe for this? So rods. I'd have to take a really close look at the recipe for iron pipes. We do have iron pipes now. So 20 to five versus rods. So when we come to do our modular st uh, modular frames, we'll have to consider that. Um, fine concrete, that's a no. So we've narrowed the field, but we've not made any real progress. I could try to re-roll some of these, but that puts these back into rotation as well. It might be worth taking that Fix inventory slots, Dan. You may be right. I may be crazy. Feels so different now. Where are my rods?
And now I can do the next quartz thing. Billy Joel quote, you are right, Snuggly. Good to hear. Research completed. Quartz crystal recipe unlocked. New quartz research available. We can do signs now. Yay. 100 of those. Buggy. So 100 quartz crystal. I feel like we can probably just do that with this now. I like having that little manual constructor there. It's good. Um I feel like, yeah, I feel like my last break was probably an hour ago, right? Because the sun's going down. I'll wait till it gets dark, and then we'll do it. Okay. Those can go back in there. Don't need all of those. Pod rule will turn in four minutes. So let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. Oh, I love the Blade Runners so much. I miss them. I miss them so. So we can upgrade each one of those miners. Uh, it's not going to be worth it to upgrade the concrete miners because these are impure nodes and I just it's not worth tapping into that. There is another concrete area over there that we can use for concrete production. So I'm not too worried about that. These are just going to be cranking out simple, basic um, stuff in the background for us. Um, and um, I may actually um, hook this one up to a bin and have that come into here so it's not just um, bottlenecking at the uh, constructor. So... Um, we can basically increase all of this by 50%. So I feel like what needs to happen is this section here. So all of this, these, this is just storage. Then all of this here is our iron production. And so all of this, I think we have to turn into some sort of iron factory. And I guess this is the spot to do it. I would really like to blow up these rocks with the gas if I can, so I may see if I can get get that. We may also need a gas mask. Um, there's a few things that are going to come in really handy. I know that there's sand ore over there, but I think it's also got gas around it. So gas mask is probably also on our to-do list. Um... Yeah, we've got lots of power overhead. Not worried about that. Lots of steel production happening. That might actually be full. It's getting real close. Um, that miner is only doing steel, so that's also worth noting. Uh, but we may have to set up some sort of like smelting building right here. I think what might be the best idea would be to set up iron smelting into ingots. The only problem, of course, is that for steel, we don't have the solid steel ingot recipe yet. And we may not need it depending on what other um, other um, alternate recipes we get. This is really fun. We've got a bright yellow tractor scooting around. We've got a big blue space elevator, and then we've got all the red stuff in here. It's really cool. I should maybe make this 
blue too. Project assembly type stuff. Yeah, why not? Storage, also blue. Makes it easy to see. Fun. So, yeah, I think my challenge here is that I saw, I've been watching Total's playthrough. I feel like he built in this area. I know he's got some stuff happening over there. I still took damage. So we could also build, there's also some nodes up here, but they're impure iron nodes, I think. Yeah, they're impure. These are normal. The problem is the, these rocks that you can't move. Exchange concluded. Oh, these all stay red. That's interesting. Can I change that? Okay. You can you can do those separately than the outside. That's fun. Actually, let's maybe we'll put that back. Oh, did it? There we go. Oh, it's it's two. It's just that the hub and that separate. Very Transformers, I like it. Milestone reached. The Xeno Basher is a direct upgrade from the Xeno Zapper. In the words of the engineer that first developed this tool, quote, the zapper kind of electrocutes things, the basher straight up smacks stuff, while also electrocuting them, unquote. <laughs> it is beneficial during encounters with aggressive fauna, and has been tested thoroughly. The engineer's noble sacrifice for Xeno research will not be forgotten, whoever they were. <laughs> whoever they were. Nice. Uh, do impure nodes just produce less? Yes. Uh, less per minute, or is the quality of the materials different? No, it's all the same stuff. It's just that you get less. It's um, 30 per minute on an impure, 60 per minute on a pure, and 120, uh, sorry, 60 per minute on a normal, and 120 per minute on a pure. And then that doubles when you add a Mark II minor. So then it goes to 60, 120, and 240. Plus you can overclock the miner. So an overclocked miner on a pure node is 600 uh overclocked mark two miner is 600 resources per minute and you need a mark five belt to carry it so right now we actually have mark three belts which take 270 so we're in pretty good shape now for expansion which is great we've got pillars i forgot that we get different kinds too power Got the new nodes, production, Mark II Miner. Nice. And we should also see um, signs are now available because they take quartz. Light control panel, all of our lights are available now. Yeah, and this is good for like accents, but it still it paints the whole thing it doesn't just do the you can't have a you can't have like a chrome texture and have it be a color these are the colors that they end up being nighttime yes break time to make good on this uh once again folks i do try to take a break once an hour in satisfactory that works out to be about every 50 minutes just because it is harder to see at night uh and uh this way we can just step away get a break and uh continue when the sun comes back up 
So uh, grab a snack, grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming, and I'll be back in five or six minutes.
Okay, let's see what's next. No damage that time. So we've got... Take the blueprints. Yeah. And I should be able to do a little bit of that right now. Grab the quartz. We'll do cable again. Uh, what's next uh, is where you explain why, <laughs> explain to me why you didn't make things pink. Sandy told on you. <laughs> Fair. Uh, because we haven't done the RC build. What what product should an RC themed build and satisfactory make? Which, what would be the thing? Quartz, probably? The Quartz Factory should be RC-themed, uh, right? We just need another hundred of those. Blueprint Designer will definitely come in handy as we expand the factory. That's for sure. And we're not even halfway there. Okay. Is there any additional um, thing that we need? I guess that can be, yeah. Is there any additional thing that we need to have coming to the base? I guess I could start to bring quartz in. Xenobasher is always a fun unlock, too. Fun animations. New effects, too. Nice. Everybody wants a lightsaber. Uh, so Sam Ore was one thing we could look for. Hard drives is another thing we could look for. I'm going to need a bunch of stuff here. Got rods, got plates. Got screws. Grab more of that. Definitely need more concrete. I wanted to put this concrete on a bin, didn't I? Do that. Hmm. Concrete, please. And do I want it to go to a bid right here, or do I want to try to get it into this bin? I think we're going to try to get it into this bin. That's a splitter. And I might be able to make another merger here.
No, I cannot. That's a merger. Maybe if I go a little bit tighter. I don't like doing stuff like this, but it does work. Ooh, that was a weird lag. the same way unless I do go backwards huh Concrete going to a bin. Good. Why is that not going to snap up there? That's weird. There we go. So we've got room for things. The red and the blue screws look really cool, too. Is this not doing its thing? Not powered. That was silly. Um... There we go. Blade Runners are so good. Tight spot. There's hardly enough room to swing a lizard doggo in here. <laughs> Reminds kids not to swing lizard doggos. Accurate. Accurate, Cosmic Dancer. And I'm glad I'm winning you over with the red blue. So we can do sand more, we can do quartz, and I just want to see where the sand more is. I guess we should get our tractor for that. There's another hard drive over there somewhere, too. I feel like there's another hard drive over by the coal power plant as well. And I know where there's more sulfur, so I can do that as well. Jump! Pop and a wheelie. I feel like the Sam or is underneath the arch, maybe? Plants that make the gas. That's a giant pit. It's weird playing over here because this is where I first started when I played the game. I built on the other side of this arch. And it... Um, 
It was a slog because I was learning. Apparently I'm learning how to drive. There's another copper node. What are you? Your normal? Normal. Wrong thing. Oh my gosh, hot keys, Joel. I think that's the. Can't remember what I called it. Resource notes? I think that's what I called the subcategory. I feel like the Sam or. I thought it was around here. Maybe he's on top of the arch? Finished up a 20 gigawatt turbo fuel power plant that processed plastic from computers or for computers and the computer production last night. MC Ninja, that's awesome. I've never done turbo fuel. We're trying to get a gas mask, so I need to go get some more sulfur. I also need to have some rocks blown up. Threading the needle. There we go. No! Did he just spawn and, like, take me out? Can I get up here? Or do I have to build stuff? I have to build stuff. Sulfur, yay. Impure, that's fine. And I don't think we have a sulfur color, do we? Kind of a dirty yellow. Sure. The artist takes over. Whoop, not Fulfur. I've always been a um, terrible speller, so I get really self conscious.
When was the artist not in charge? No, that's also fair. There's a coal node up there somewhere, too, while I'm here. Uh, scan for coal. Right there? Yep. Yeah. That is a pure node. We may need that later. I know this is a little tedious, but man, it makes a big difference later on when you're trying to stay organized. And, I, and scanning over and over again is a real pain. I don't remember how much sulfur we needed. I want to say it was close to 100. I'm not going to go for a good design planning until it's time to tear everything down and optimize. I'm the same way, MC Ninja. I'm the same. It was your first crack at turbo fuel. Nice. We get all the way to 100? Not quite. get there before he does. Sweet. Just wanted to grab a little bit to you research in the ma'am. Now, you can head back. think we need the mushrooms, but I should probably grab them. Oh, Mercer's here. Harvest the scripture. Compose it into a blood song. The effigies ripples through our temples. Our veins nearly touch. It is shy. Notes shall be taken and played. From a certain perspective, your brain looks like it is processing language, but there is no auditory data. If you are hearing voices that are not mine, this is no cause for concern. It is a common side effect of extreme pressure and stress. Fun. Yeah, this is the site where I put my first coal power plant, is right here. Now, I want to say that the quartz is... Oh, I have to be out of the vehicle. Did I mark it on the map? I don't think I've marked it. Oh, I did. It's way over there. Yeah, that's a pain. I think there's a hard drive somewhere here. So we'll head over that way. Almost like I've played the game before, right? Except for the whole hotkey thing. I don't know what's going on there. Nope. Almost. I am surprised I didn't take any damage there. Whoa. Okay. I thought there was a hard drive up there. Can't scan for them yet. Like a skateboard ramp. Whoa. I'm 
hearing stuff, but I think it's just a slug. All of a sudden, I've lost the ability to look around. I thought you could look around when you're on the tractor, but maybe that's just me. Is there a, is there a view? Headlights. Camera change. Oh, there it is. Which way do I want to go? I said land bridge. I don't see any little hints of orange anywhere. I could just look it up on the satisfactory website. Watch your toes. All right, well, I know that there's one over on the other side of the coal plant. So we'll go look there. Plus, it's an easier drive. I will take more quartz, though. Now, what could be down here? Hello. I don't think I knew that cave was there. Oh, we're up here. I thought we were lower. Man, I think I might like the tractor more than I like the buggy. The buggy was something that we were using in the Devastator save. And uh, once I updated to 1.0, I found it really difficult to drive. I didn't like the changes they made to it at all. There's another Mercer Sphere. There might not be a quick way down. Well, there's a quick way down. I just don't think I'd survive it. Yeah, there's like a lag between your input and what the tractor does. It is quite a nice view, I agree, Cosmic. The game is really pretty. Like they, the work that they put into this map is really, really cool. I think it, it really adds to the immersion of the game, even though you're meant to kind of destroy the world and, and all that. I, I do really feel that this is a, um, a really well done map. It's also huge. Like, if this was like a GTA or some other kind of like Assassin's Creed, absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. Speaking of massive, that's a big boy. What do we need here? We need... That's not the thing. 
Grab those. Hey, encased beams. We don't have any of those yet. We have to make them. Oh, it's out in the water, isn't it? Yeah. Need 60 megawatts of power. That's at least two biomass burners. Water looks so good. I know I keep on saying that, but... Even on, like, I don't have the water even turned up that high. Someone with a real nice system, this would look fantastic. Cosmic, are you still getting crashes? And before your crashes, does it at least look pretty? Because you must be able to play it on pretty high settings, I'd imagine. Sometimes being organized is tedious, but I feel like it takes the confusion out later. One more hard drive. Good to go. It's weird too when you start approaching areas of the map that you've been playing in forever. So like as we head towards the the Gold Coast, like I just, I've spent a lot of time there working on the power plant for Megatron and um, it's weird. It's weird to, to see it so empty. I think I prefer the camera being free. Another Mercer Sphere. A familiar pattern is emerging in your brain. Please assess yourself for signs of concussion. If necessary, a replacement pioneer will be dispatched. Work must continue. Replacement delivery schedule estimate. Error. Years. <laughs> Please allow us to send a replacement for you. We have no idea when that will happen. I uh, ran the benchmark test, says Cosmic, and I put everything at Ultra. It looked beautiful for five minutes. I could play before it crashed, being too busy to try again and troubleshoot the past few days. Uh, there was a patch released just before we started the stream, or just after we started the stream, so I couldn't couldn't do it. Uh, but you might want to go and refresh. Do I want to go? I want to go this way. One nice thing about playing the game for a while is that at least I'm not lost. pretty much find my way around. Yay for Blade Runners. I guess I could... I could make a meal out of these guys.
Because we don't have any alien remains yet. Samples of unknown alien species acquired. It is unclear where on the flora or fauna oh, no. spectrum it lies, but initial data suggests this might be a nest or an egg. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. Ah, the, the jumping is too good. Sliding off the edge. Hear you? Where'd you go? You're over there. Melee first person is always tricky. Uh, let's go with the nuts, actually. Ultra is gorgeous like 95% of the time. I have a small issue with some of the mist effects, though. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. This is on pretty mediocre graphics, I think. Somewhere's about medium. Oh, am I out of fuel? Did I forget to bring enough fuel? Oh, good. Smart Joel is smart. There's another drop pod. And there's one more over here that I know of. They also got rid of the Caterium node that was up on the hill here. It's so weird to see this so empty. Oh, hello. Take that. Oh, I don't have enough space. I'll sacrifice the sulfur. Get some extra tickets with more complicated stuff. Although, I don't think we're going to have the room. No, I'm going to need... I'm going to need the room for the hard drive. Right, those should stay there. So there is another hard drive out there, um, but I think I will wait just because of time and because of inventory space. Maybe we should go and um, see if we can unlock that extra inventory. That's probably a good thing too. I think we made some decent progress. We doubled our power output. We have automated a couple of new things. And we've unlocked a fair amount in the, the hub. We're on tier three now. I feel like they've added smoke to the tractor too, although the little cap on the end of the smokestack isn't animating, although maybe it's not supposed to anymore. I am looking forward to um, hopefully a day when Devastator can be um, revived and we can complete like a full train network around the whole thing. The whole map, I think that would be awesome. I think it might be time to, to uh, make this a little bit of an easier space to get into. Oh, let's do that. Not worth
worried about that. I can just turf. Not really. I'll come back for that, I guess. So much easier to get around. Okay. We have... Did the man... Alert us. Oh, I was close. Uh, quartz, sulfur, slugs, mercer, guts, bacon. And I think that's it. Hard drive. That last minute, we'll go check to see what we're doing for frames, modular frames. We should be good. Yep. There's the 100 that we need. So this will be for blueprints. Milestone reached. Blueprints reduce repetitive building tasks, further optimizing your progression towards saving Earth with its beautiful ecosystems, abundant natural resources, and sunsets over frolicking puppies and kittens. The Blueprint Designer allows you to build and combine structures once and then duplicate that configuration effortlessly. Any complaints about the spatial restrictions will only reveal your own inefficiencies. <laughs> oh, that's great. Community request was uh, larger blueprint designers. The puppies and kittens references, Dan, are good too. I agree. I agree. So we are now at... I could just hammer that out just to say that it's done. Can I spare that many rotors? Yeah, probably. Uh, one, two, three, four. 4.4. 4. So that was 4. Point, we'll say 4.3. Uh complete. Two X coal power. Cross your fingers. What do we get? Cheap silica. Used quartz. Probably no to either one of those. This is not bad, but I don't need silica right now. We do have another hard drive, so I'll throw that in there. Ten minutes on the clock for anybody keeping track. Get off my automated lawn. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, we should go get that. I've sort of maintained a little bit of a pathway through here. You still have to jump over stuff, but I will do better at maintaining paths. Samples of new alien species acquired. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. Try to keep two stacks of everything. Seems to be the best way to go. 
Don't necessarily need two stacks of screws though. And we're probably good for just one of each of those. That's doing the hard drive thing, but we can put that in there. I don't need all the rotors. I don't know what I would need the staters for. But we'll store them for now. Got a nice little trickle of buildup for those. That's good. Probably some rods over here too. Yep. So for once, we are making more screws than we actually need by a long shot. Pod is back. So I can do everything but the extended power infrastructure or the um, modular frame seems to be our bottleneck. And I'm noticing that a lot more now. The completionist in me just wants to nail this. Be done with it. Let's just do it. Maybe I'll find a use for it. Milestone reached. The Fixit jump pad combines high technology and innovation for optimized factory traversal and an ideal travel experience. Clarification. Ideal travel experience not guaranteed. Individual results may vary. <laughs> Pioneers are responsible for all workplace accidents resulting from jump pad usage. Another five, six minutes. Okay. Nothing I need is in here that we can build. I think we can still look at the trees. So we can do this stuff. That'll be instant. Um, I still haven't found any Sam. That's a dead end for now. This is bottlenecked by Caterium. My Celia. I wanted the gas mask. 50 fabric. Do I have the fabric? It's biomass and mycelia, right? Because the gas mask would make things a little bit easier. One of these is going to have a backup of biomass. There we go. So we have... Should be able to do this next. So it's just coal, right? I should have that coal. If nothing else, it's in the back of a back of a truck, but I should have some coal here. It's Ten coal. Okay. 
cool. So that's good to go. Uh, or I could do more. Oh, that's just a hand slot. And, oh, I've got the staters for that now, too. We found those. Didn't even have to make them. We can unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Nutrients. I think that's the inhaler. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff we can do now. Oh, I can make one of my blue power slugs into a power shard now. That's good. So that's that I can now unlock, which is good. Quartz, I'm going to be shy on crystal. And I don't have the silica either. Sulfur, the explosion, explosion stuff. That's what we want. Cool. But really now it's just a matter of waiting for that hard drive to finish. And at some point I think we might have to try to expand um, our modular frame production. This is pretty slow. And it needs 3 and 12. We are sending it 15 and... 10. Yeah, so it's got more than enough plates. We can do we can easily add another machine here. Uh, but the rods per minute is still gonna be low. Can I add more rods? Is that just that's going to plates? You're making rods, but you're making too many screws. So I could pull rods from you. I could pull rods from here. You need 30. And you're making 30. It's just that the bottleneck on the other side is slow. Okay. So I'll have to do that next time. We'll do uh, 2x. Well, I'll say automation, not really production. Because it's not really a factory, we're just kind of pumping stuff out. There's the man research right on time. Cross your fingers. We want stitched, reinforced iron plates, and I th and, or solid steel ingot. Stitched plates would be preferable. We've got neither of those things. Do we bother to re-roll? Fused wire is not great. Um, wet concrete is something we can't get until refineries. Cheap silica would not be a bad thing to do with our um, low limestone. Um, those impure limestone nodes could be useful for that. I don't mind the steel frame. I don't think I want to re-roll this one. Someone didn't cross their fingers. My fingers are busy. Or 
or this we could just take the six inventory slots. So fine concrete is not great, but steel frame is good. Because if we can, if we can get the stitched iron plates, then, then that well eliminates. If we can eliminate screws from the, from the plates, then we can do steel frames without plate without screws at all. Cheap silica. Okay, so here's my reasoning. Um, cheap silica would be handy. The fused quartz crystal is not my bag, especially where we are, because there's not a lot of coal around here. But because we have this here now, we know it's not going to be coming up in a reroll right now. So we can rescan this and see what we get. So now everybody has to cross their fingers and see what's happening. Three, two, one. Solid ceiling, it, we got one. I'll take that. I will take that. So again, we're keeping that one, but I'm not gonna select it right this second until we're ready to use it in a factory. So now we've got a couple of things we actually wanted. So we've got iron wire. We've got Steel frames, solid steel ingot. Yeah, so there's a couple. There's a couple. The eyes did it. Well played, Dan. Scotsman, appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. Crossing your eyes for the, the roll. Okay, I think. I think that's it. We are now working on tier one, two, three, four, tier point four. I can just select that, I guess. That's a little bit cheaper. They take a little bit of power though. They okay, were good. I don't know that we would need that. I think maybe hyper tubes would be more efficient. Why is this flashing tier two? That's weird. So we'll focus on hyper tubes. So that means tier 4.5. I guess that's already up as a note. I don't need to add it there. And now that that's done, we can use some of the ugly bits to get ahead. Megafauna. The remains researched belong to an organism now dubbed the fluffy-tailed hog. Mm. It has many characteristics that would likely classify it among the Suidae family were it native to Earth. Hog remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Fun. Six inventory slots, that'll be pretty easy to do. Structural analysis. Oh, rebar gun. The remains researched belong to a plant-like organism hosting the larva of the flying crab, the most mature of which hatch when threatened. Hatcher remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. 
cool. Uh, the hatchers are... Um, there's a new one. There's a new, like, alpha hatcher thing. Got the protein done. I think that's as far as we can get with that. Yeah, I don't have... I thought I had... I thought I had the curly squishy bits, but maybe I didn't pick it up because I was my inventory was full the other day. I guess. Tyrium. Quick wire bottleneck. Oh, just inhalers. Medical properties of local mycelia established. New research options available. Medical inhaler variants. Uh, MC Ninja, yeah, there's an alpha hatcher now. It's just bigger and releases six at once instead of three. And it's just a cooler looking um, hatcher. You, uh, If you follow Total Eclipse on YouTube, one of his like 13 tips videos showed about how you can sneak up on them now. Um, if you if you sneak if you crouch up behind them, um, they won't open up right away. Gas mask, yay! Research completed. Gas mask and filter unlocked. Mycelia fabric is highly absorbent, making it more effective at toxic gas filtration than the standard issue Pioneer helmet. A pleasant pine scent is included. Gas filters require mm -hmm. regular mm -hmm. replacement for optimal safety. So we can make a gas mask now. But I need... Oh, more fabric. I just have to make that manually, I guess. I can see early game how setting up a a um, automated assembler to make fabric would be handy. All right, I wanted to unlock it at least. But having the gas mask will make life a lot easier. Uh, nutrients, we are. I don't. I think that's just another inhaler. That's not a big deal. We can do this now. You can sneak and shoot them too, Raven Trickster? Cool. Didn't know that. What if you don't like pine, Dan? Then you are boned. Polymer fabric recipe is unlocked to the ma'am. Oh, is it? Cool. It's unlockable. Um, I don't have it, though. I don't have enough fabric to unlock it. Overclocking development completed. Power shards can now be inserted into all buildings to increase input and output speed. Underclocking is also possible. Note, power consumption of overclocked buildings increases exponentially. We're actually pretty far through the ma'am for how early we are in the game. Helps to know what you're looking for, I guess. Power slugs extract latent energy from their surroundings to sustain themselves. By tuning the object scanner to the particular potential energy signature, it is now able to locate them against the background environmental static. That's a cool explanation. Yeah, quartz. I'm stuck until I get more actual quartz. This is the one problem with this area is that you really are far from quartz unless you want to run a really long belt we have to do like a truck stop somewhere for quartz just like we did with coal but it's a much larger stop uh i have more coal i know where i have more
Research completed. Black powder recipe unlocked. New sulfur research available. So we need black powder to actually get the bombs, but at least we can do it now. Uh, what is the black powder recipe? One to one. But I need more sulfur. Don't know what's down that tree. Let's go see what frames I have before I log out. Is there another satisfactory streamer y'all would like me to send you along to? Uh, it's about that time. And I uh, always like to, to raid somebody. I, uh, I know Total is done for the day. He had a, an event that he had to go to. Oh, I should have known. Research completed. Experimental power generation research options are now available. These may enhance performance of other fuel sources. So we're pretty far on sulfur too. The rifle is down that untouched tree. Yeah, no, I can see the rifle, but I don't I don't need the rifle because we've got passive animals or um, retaliation animals so I, I don't need don't need to worry about that uh it's bits is still going we just raided bits yesterday is there any other satisfaction i'll look as well i'll look as well cool well, i can put some of this stuff in here uh don't need that don't need that i feel like the coal and the mycelia and the biomass can stay there That's all handy. Put those back. I am now completely, oh no, there we go. I thought I was out of rotors. Am I still making those? No, I'm not making those anymore. We need to get the rotors back up and going soon. I don't think I have them in here. No. Okay. Uh, add that to the list. Uh, we also have the alt recipe, I think. No. Not yet. There's a steel rudder recipe that means that we can do the rudder without copper. Well, I should change this to temp. I love that this game's got a to-do list. It's so good. Okay. I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for today, folks. Let me go see who's live. And we'll pass you all along. The blue and the red are, are working. I like it. I have too many windows open. Survey says
I have a couple of people playing Satisfactory, but I'm not familiar with them. So we'll send you over to Bits. Uh, Bits may not be streaming for much longer. It's already 10 p.m. for him. I think he only goes until 11, but I think you'll enjoy the day over with Bits. Um, they, uh, they're a fun, fun dude. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus 4 hours because I'm in Canada. So uh, right now it, it's a little after 5, so mark your timestamps where you need to. Uh, thanks ever so much for the support today, folks. I really appreciate it. Uh, lots of new follows, lots of fun conversation, lots of new people in chat too. So welcome in. I'm glad you followed. Uh, if you're thinking about joining the community, then uh, consider the Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. Uh, that is where you can, of course, uh, get uh, access to the Discord. You can support my streams and you can um, hang out with all these other cool people in between streams. To talk Satisfactory, talk Minecraft, uh, get notifications when I go live, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can also follow on social media at Joel Duggan, very easy to find on Instagram and on Twitter. Those are my two active spots. And of course, I do the Spawn Trunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts. Uh, available wherever you listen. Also available on YouTube. The Spawn Trunks is now a video show. Uh, and uh, we've got some special events coming up for our patrons on that show this weekend. So look forward to that. Uh, thanks to Sweet Sandy, who I think is gone for the night, but I really appreciate the modding. Cosmic, thanks for the help as well. Uh, snuggly great to see you and uh, good to see all the newcomers as well um, raven trickster reeman i really appreciate that you guys are here and having a good time so hopefully i will see you all tomorrow bye for now <laughs>